Hey there, has your turnstile ever looked like this? Have you ever wanted to know how to properly maintain your Alvarado full height turnstile? Today, we're gonna show you how. I'm Grizz with the Turnstile Crew here at Avant Garde. We bring you the best tips, tools, and products to keep your organization secure and up and running. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to learn more. We also love hearing your suggestions and questions in the comments. Performing the steps in this video yearly will greatly reduce the downtime and extend the life of your equipment. We'll have a list of Alvarado's recommended products in the description below. For ease of access, you can loosen the bolts on the cover and tip it back. And then we can start with checking our locking arm bolts to make sure there's freedom of movement. They should move freely with only the resistance of the spring felt. If the lock arm does not move freely or is loose, detach the return spring from the lock arm. Use a 5 16 Allen wrench to remove the lock arm bolt. You don't have to remove the lock arm bolt to lubricate it, but for demonstration purposes and having it out, I'll show you. Apply blue Loctite thread to the mounting bolt and reinstall, tightening it to 35 foot-pounds torque. Lubricate the spring contact points with dry lubricant. Locate and lubricate both grease fittings on the upper shaft bearing using the recommended grease and a grease gun. Place two to three drops of DuPont Teflon lubricant along the shafts of the slide rods. Next, inspect and clean the optical sensor with alcohol moistened Q-tip. Clean the solenoid plunger and solenoid cavity with alcohol wipes and an alcohol moistened Q-tip. Apply a light coat of DuPont Teflon non-stick dry film lubricant to the solenoid plunger. To reference how to remove the solenoid, check out our video here. Inspect all electrical wiring for damage that may lead to future malfunctions. After completing these steps, cycle the roto in both directions numerous times to test for ease of operation and to properly spread the lubricants on the moving parts. Check out our other video for replacement of springs and solenoids. Springs should be replaced yearly and solenoids should be replaced every two years. If you need on-site service from one of our turnstile specialists, please contact our service department. If you feel like your turnstile is beyond repair, check out the link in the description for a list of full height turnstiles that are typically in stock at Avant Garde. Hopefully you found this information useful. If so, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any suggestions, please leave those in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to the Turnstile Guys. See you next time.